Well, it's 17 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. That's about minus 27 Celsius right in there. And I'm hitching up the trailer and heading out. No, not going camping, but something equally as exciting. If you've been watching our videos, then you'll remember that uh, not too long ago, we broke a leaf spring on our trailer out in the middle of nowhere, and now it's time to replace the other side. So we're taking it in to get it fixed. Had to come back inside for a few minutes and warm up. <laughs> then I'll go out and finish hitching. All right, let's go finish this up. Thanks to the wonder of backup cameras. Oh, everything is frozen. This jack was frozen. My parking brake was frozen. Okay, just need to check the lights and we're ready to go. Well, they all look good. You know, the problem with wearing gloves is in this kind of temperatures, you need to wear thick mittens. But you know, you can't do anything with mittens on. <laughs> and even wearing fleece gloves, uh, your fingers get cold in just a few minutes. Anyways, time to head back inside and warm up again. Of course, but before we go, there is the Number one priority. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere without my coffee. Just making two fast cups for the road. Well, this trailer's got anywhere from 60 to 80 to even 100,000 miles on it. I don't know, plenty. But the thing about leaf springs is they're constantly in motion, bouncing up and down all the time you're driving, all the time you're towing. So the metal work hardens and eventually it breaks. It would probably be a good idea to just replace the leaf springs once in a while as a matter of maintenance, maybe every few years or something like that. But for sure, if you break one like we did, you have to replace the other side because it's about to go anyway. Well, it's not exactly a great day to be out towing. It's pretty icy, so we're being very, very careful. Well, we're not the only ones out towing an RV today, so we're not totally alone. We're not the only idiots here, Linda. Yeah. I wonder where they're gonna camp. Well, we're leaving it in four-wheel drive. It doesn't help you get stopped, but at the stoplights, it helps you get started. <laughs> Okay, just so you know that I really do have to work. <laughs> She's standing out here sub-zero weather filming this. <laughs> well, we arrived at Swain's Spring Service and we just met Jeff Swain, nice guy. And uh, he's gonna get our trailer fixed up, new, new leaf spring on the left side and get us ready to go again today yet. Well, we just dropped the trailer off and I just got back home where it's nice and warm. I have to admit, I have been procrastinating on getting that spring re uh, replaced. Linda and I even took a trip down south on that, uh, on that old, with that old spring still on the left side, but I was waiting for warmer weather here so that I was gonna go out and do it myself. And those springs are not easy to get off. People think they are, you can just pull them off and reverse them or do this or do that. It takes two large sledgehammers or some, or, or, or you gotta put heat on it or whatever because the bolts are splined and of course they're totally rusted together. Uh, and it's, they're very hard to pound out. Anyways, it was uh, Jeff Swain himself from Swain Spring Service that sent us an email. He's, it turns out he's one of our viewers. <laughs> and he says, bring it in, I'll get it done for you. 
So he was, that was very kind and it, and it uh, got me out and, and to take the trailer in and actually get that done. One thing we learned when this, the uh, one spring first broke, we were down in near Cedar City, uh, Nevada, is that leaf springs don't break any more often than uh, torsion arm axles of, you know, and other kinds of suspension. In fact, they may even break less. But the thing about leaf springs is most towns of any moderate size have a spring shop and they're there because of all the farm equipment uh, or RVs and things like that where, where these things need attention. It's a spring shop. And the leaf springs can be purchased off in any farm and ranch store. They'll have different sizes right on the shelf. You can just walk in and buy them. And most automotive shops also carry leaf springs. So the ease of getting these things fixed is why Linda and I are sticking with leaf springs on our trailer. Well, I asked the experts about if putting shock absorbers on the trailer, <clears throat> and they say there is nothing that fits on this axle. I also asked about putting those rubber bumpers on top of your axle that come in contact with the frame, and they told me that that puts too much strain on the leaf spring itself and will cause it to break sooner. So that's not an option either. Now, Linda and I chose single axle on purpose. It's because we drive the four wheel drive roads and we needed to be able to turn around in tight spots. <laughs> so we've gone with the single axle on purpose. Now, tandem axle, of course, if you don't go off road, uh, if, if you don't do that, then tandem axle is better. It's safer because you got four tires on the ground in case you get a flat. It also tows a lot smoother. Most tandem axles have a equalizer between the leaf springs that spreads the load from one axle to the other. So it takes some of the load off those leaf springs when you go over bumps, especially if you're going over them asymmetrically, asymmetrically like one tire going up over a rock or something while the other one, while the other side isn't. It spreads the load to the axle behind it. And that's important. And you can also upgrade those equalizers between your leaf springs. So you might want to do that too. Anyhow, but we chose to go with a single axle on purpose, just so you know. Well, the trailer's done and we're good to hit the road again. Warmed right up today. Started out at 17 below zero and it just got warmer and warmer. Now it's only four below. I'm gonna grab my towel and head for the beach when I get home. Now I even got the old spring as an extra to take along. So if and when this happens again, and we break a spring in the future, <laughs> I've got a spare. <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys liked the video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you around.